Hi everyone, I'm Amber and I am the Director of Client Services with Builder Designs and I am here to bring you this week's pro tip video on budgeting for 2021. Um, the market is definitely hot right now with low interest rates coupled with buyers that are wanting to get out of their house after being stuck for several months. Um, it's made for a hot housing market in 2020. Um, and so if you've cut back on your SEO and marketing efforts just because the market has been so hot, that's going to be the first recommendation I have is that you build your SEO and marketing efforts back into your budget for next year. Because one of the things that we learned during the 2008 market collapse was the builders that kept their SEO and their marketing efforts strong when times were good were the ones that were able to weather the storm when the times weren't so good. Um, so the second tip is going to be to look at your website. If you have a website that's older than two years old, you're likely going to want to budget for a new site next year um, just because there's going to be a lot more mobile first capabilities and speed capabilities that your current site probably won't allow you to um, take advantage of or just wasn't built for. Um, and if you do have a newer website, you could still benefit from having a comprehensive ADA compliance audit or an SEO audit just to make sure that you're getting the most from the site that you already have. Um, the third thing I'm going to recommend is going to be kind of two parts in one. So the first part are going to be your visuals. So photography, videography, make sure that the photos and videos on your website are really high class and represent your product well um, and also have up-to-date product. Um, and the second part is going to be your messaging. So especially if your messaging has changed in 2021 in terms of your safety protocols or how you allow buyers to shop with you, um, make sure that they know about that. Make sure it's on your website and then the different marketing materials that you have. Um, and if you, you know, kind of combine those three things together and take care of them in next year's budget, you're going to be setting yourself up for success. Um, and be sure to stay tuned in the, the coming weeks because we have more pro tip videos and kind of tips to help you plan for a new uh, year to come.